Hello, it's Miss Julie from Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts. I'm here to celebrate another fun day on calendar with you. But you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button below so you can see when I go live and all the videos I've created just for you. All right, today is May 25th. And the exciting day on the calendar to celebrate today is National Tap Dance Day. Well, I don't know if you've ever gone to, to tap class or done any tap dancing before, but this style of dance has been around for a very long time. I'm going to let you know that this style of dance has dated back to the 1800s. And it was developed primarily from African and Irish influences. So if you ever think to yourself, some of those moves those tap dancers are doing look a little familiar? Yes, they do. Many different styles of dance are developed from different and other styles and cultures. What else can I tell you about tap dance day today? So, the tap dancing is a complex rhythm step combination and performers often express their emotions with their body movements and through the sound of the steps. So there are clogging, which is pounding steps and soft steps and moves, stiff Irish move dances, and they combine them all together to make their own dance. Some of the top well-known tap dancers are Fred Astaire, Gregory Hines, and Ginger Rogers. So if you've ever heard of these names, or if you want to look up famous tap dancers in history, those names will probably appear. And you can learn a little bit about where they did their dancing at. Um, some of them may be in California doing dancing. Some may be in New York doing dancing. And they all did a little bit of the tap dancing and are known for it. So if you're very interested in who has done tap dancing, and then you could also look up current um, performers who do tap dance style. Um, the dance is rhythmic, but you can use different type of shoes to make it a soft shoe dance. So you can do the same style of dancing and tap and change it into soft shoe dance if you don't have the tap dance shoes. Now, Tap dance shoes, I'm going to show you my picture. Tap dance shoes are usually black and they have a piece of metal screwed or hammered into the leather black shoe and that's what makes the tapping. You tap the metal onto the floor or wood board that you're dancing on, dance floor, and it makes the tap. And however hard you press your foot down, makes the louder sound. And if you do it lightly, it makes a light tapping sound. And so the movements create different sounds when you're dancing. Now, if you're interested in trying out this style of dance, you should hit up your local dance center and ask to do a free trial class. And maybe you'll be interested in joining their program in tap. Now, as always, to celebrate this special day today, I found a picture. And so this is the one I found of a girl with tap shoes on. And I found this on Google. And you can just color this and you can put it up to celebrate May 25th today, National Tap Dance Day. Now, there's no right or wrong, just like we always say, no right or wrong way to color your picture. You could even paint it if you choose to. But um, it's just a way to celebrate today is to make a craft or a picture about what we're celebrating. So this girl has the tap dance shoes on. And to make it a performance, she has a costume on. So she has like a bow tie on her neck and a leotard. And she has this long, it's called a cane. So that. They use those in performances to add a little bit of um, 
accessories, props to their dance. So when she taps her foot one way, she may point her cane, her cane the other way. And when she taps her foot the other way, she might point it the other way. Because they would use that in the routine, the performance for tap dance. So if you want to try out tap dance, like I said, you should hit up your local tap, your local school of dance. And maybe they'll let you do a free trial class where you could do try out the style of dance and try out the style of dance and see if it's right for you. So I'm just gonna color my nice picture of the tap dancer and hang it up so that I remember that May 25th is National Tap Dance Day. And you can probably find a few videos of kids doing tap performances and you can try to dance along with them at your home. And like I said, there's no right or wrong way when you make a picture. This could be you doing the tap dance. It could be your friend doing the tap dance. It could be your brother doing the tap dance. So there's no right or wrong way when you make a picture. And if you have time today, look up other tap dances and tap dancers from history and who they who they were and where they danced at. Did they dance on big stages or was it small theaters? Did they perform for lots of people or was it a small group? So there's really no right or wrong way to do this. It's just fun to celebrate the, the different days on the calendar. And I'm glad that you stopped by and see what I do. All right. It was nice talking to you today. I wanted to come back again next time for Miss Julie's virtual preschool and crafts.